Well, expect Finn Russell to be in the crosshairs of French defenders tonight, or this afternoon, I should say. He's got one Racing 92 teammate facing him this evening. Number meter. Can they get there this time? Dupont looks one way, goes the other. Scotland have come offside. So here goes Moa Farner, a little skip. Good tackle from Turpilotu, but look at the white jerseys lining out here. And Roman Entomac, a sense of inevitability. Four minutes. And this is the difference. Wales were allowed six and a half minutes in Scotland's 22 at Murrayfield. You allow that time to France. You afford them time on the ball. They're absolutely... Tends to create. Well, you've just had your answer. Thomas Ramos from the shade. Well, France came into 2023. That was a huge hit. Straight into uh, Grant Gilchrist, the carry from Anthony Gillon. No, it's not. France it's came into... Already coming up in slope. Yeah, thank you. Second leg, well, well, the reality is that that is... Five. At the red card. For France in place of Anthony Gillon. Remains to be seen whether it is actually a uh, head injury assessment or just a straight replacement. And there's the kick ahead, and well, it's set up nicely in the end there for Stuart Hogg. Damien Pinot got first run there, but in the end, the bounce beat him. But it's there for France. Dupont, the long pass out on the right hand, and now the white jerseys have got big numbers here. Entomac, Ethan de Mortier, a second try in eight minutes. And the man. Rugby, we talk about the bounce of a ball again. Lovely play. Find space in the backfield. The bounce actually sits up for Stuart Hogg. But the counter up, the work in the deck, actually comes off the heel of Hugh Jones. Scotland down a man scrambling across the field. The three on two executed perfectly, straightened up by Intermac. And over he goes in the corner. The problem for Scotland now is every single physical area of this Isn't game. It, when you consider how long he's been out and how his inclusion was expected to be so influential today. Well, George Turner's got it. Kyle Stain putting his shoulder in there. Mohamed Hawass is going to have to go away from there. And Hawass has come in from the side, although the referee was quite happy with that, that the ball was out, but now they need it. Slow it down, this one, please. Next time we see this, it'll be slow. At Murrayfield okay. two years ago. Okay, number three. Direct head contact. A couple of moments ago. Russell. That is Richie Gray. Oh, and it's been poached. And Ramos is away and clear. And that is going to give seven points to France. Forcing Scotland to regroup, and again, it's just the big zippy pass. They're very aware of Finn Russell taking the ball to the line. Smile on his face the whole way home for Tomo Ramos. Well read by the fullback. And Ramos converts his own try, and France are up to 19. More. The catch from the captain, Richie. France have to be on best behaviour. There's White. On to Russell, and straight through the middle, it's Hugh Jones, and Scotland do have their try. I'm OK, I'm OK with that. Finn Russell again, taking the ball to the line, opting for a short runner, Hugh Jones. A wonderful. Them, so just squeezing it back, Cyril Bay again, with that little hint of a sidestep. Julien Marchand. No hands, no. Advantage. Penalty advantage to France. The advantage, France. Again, hands on the floor. It's bordering on understatement. Ramos just squeezes it inside that right hand. Richard. Play on. Ben White, 
Oh, and then a little shove from Moa Fana. Entomac looks up, sees there are huge green spaces. Back goes Hugh Jones, he's under pressure. But we're into the red numbers at the end of the half. Well, through goes uh, Charles Olivant. But we were into the red numbers, and the referee may not have actually done it, but he was poised to blow his whistle. The crowd don't like it. But before Charles Olivant, it's all down so far by France. Just a penalty. Oh, now Hugh Jones at pace. Jones still going, that's a powerful surge from the Glasgow Warrior. They're within five metres. Remember, the referee's still playing an advantage here to the Scots. Play advantage, yeah. Arm out again. You got a ball here. Yeah, you got an advantage. No but France hands. have been placed on a warning in the first half. On to Jones, and Jones gets it down. Time Scotland that's converting. Hugh Jones really is a player rejuvenated. He made such an impact yeah, in the I'm first sure. half of his test career. Then he lost his form a little bit. He left Scotland. Big moment there for Finn Russell. The tackle there from Zander Fagerson. Here goes Francois Cross. The collisions here. And out here, it's a two-on-one. Demortier, can he get it down? He's been held up. <laughs> On there to Ramos. Entomac slides it through to Pelot, who's first onto it, straight back up to his feet. <laughs> Penalty goes Clearly against Scotland. Clearly has been first picked thus far. There is one illustration of just why. Once again, the power of the Scottish scrum. Another penalty advantage to the Scots. To Pelotu. It's there for Price. On to Russell. Russell gets there. And now we have a serious contest. Taking the ball to the line again. The ball in two hands works his way through and bust over. Respect the kicker. And obviously there's not much of that in Paris now, but Finn Russell's well used to it. He's not... Dupont, on to Wadi. There's Dupont again. On to Fiku, and Fiku clinches it for France. And if justification for that call was required, Fiku has now provided the seal. Tomo Ramos applies the final touch. France have bounced back from defeat in Dublin. But my, how they had to fight for their survival today.